concerns across the country as the number of COVID-19 cases surges. Many communities nearing close to maximum capacity at their hospitals. Joining us now to talk about this, Dr. Chris Clark, president at St. Vincent Hospital. Uh, Dr. Clark, once again, we appreciate your time as, as always through this COVID-19 uh, world that we're in now. Uh, 32 states seeing increases in reported COVID-19 cases today. Nine states reporting new records. Pennsylvania, not one of them. Uh, however, we did see a recent reversal in Allegheny County, the health department there, calling for that one-week closure of bars, restaurants, and casinos. So my question is, is there cause for concern, uh, especially considering a lot of people from Pittsburgh, you know, end up, you know, up here for, for weekends or weeks or whatever? Well, sure, that's a good question, Sean, and, and certainly something to keep an eye on. Uh, there's, there's definitely uh, people traveling to Erie for great reason. Uh, this weather is certainly a, a good reason to visit our community with all the great things to do. Um, so uh, it definitely speaks to what we return to each and every time when we talk about this, is that we have to promote social distancing and the wearing of masks. So no matter where people are coming from, or quite frankly, where we go, because people from Erie are also traveling too, so we have to pay close attention to where there are spikes uh, on our own vacations and just follow the rules, social distance and wear, wear the masks. Yeah, if you, if you can change your staycation away from an area that's uh, getting hotter, then go ahead and do it, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Going back to the first point here, 32 states reporting increases. Are we losing the battle again? I would not say that we're losing the battle. I'd say it's just more reason that we need to return to the, the, to the recommendations. But quite frankly, we're learning all the time with this disease. And the, the amount of testing, the access to testing is improving, is increasing. We have work to do on that, but it's heading the right direction. Uh, we're learning what to do from the management standpoint. Uh, so we're seeing great results in what the, the latest treatment options are at AHN St. Vincent. So we're not losing the battle, we just have to keep a close focus on this. Let's take a look at a couple of examples, countries that have, have done better than, than we've done. Canada and South Korea, what did they do, right? Was it, was it just all about the volume of testing? Testing contributed to it, uh, from what I know about those two countries, especially South Korea, uh, but social distancing may have been more effective there, or I should say the populations at, at, at other countries may have followed the recommendations more closely than our cit citizens. So lessons learned for sure. Um, again, we definitely need to social distance and wear masks. A group of 239 scientists led by uh, Donald Milton, a professor, professor of environmental health at the uh, University of Maryland, they've, they've now written an open letter to appeal for better recognition of the potential airborne transmission of coronavirus. Can you comment on their claims that, that governments and health agencies aren't doing enough to educate the public about an airborne threat? I, I think I can speak specifically to our own local government. So our, our healthcare facilities in this region have been working very, very closely with our local government. So they've been doing a great job with regards to education and contact tracing. Uh, I just think we as citizens need to follow the education that's being provided to us by our government officials. And that's what's most effective. So we need to stick to it. We, we, we realize that this is not going away anytime soon. And until we get to a vaccination, until we can all be vaccinated from this, uh, we need to follow the rules, wear masks, and social distance. Dr. Chris Clark, president at St. Vincent Hospital. As always, sir, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.